In 1994, world leaders gathered in Cairo to agree on how to address the pressing population challenges of the time. They reached consensus that population is not about numbers, but about people. Women's empowerment, safety in pregnancies and childbirth, the potential of young people, and basic human well-being have moved to the top of the agenda. This is the promise of Cairo. If we make progress on these issues, if we protect basic human rights, it will help ensure a world that meets the needs of current and future generations. Nearly 20 years later, there are many reasons to celebrate in our region. People are living longer and healthier lives. Men and women are more equal before the law than ever before. And they have more choices when making decisions on when to have children and how many. Young people have become powerful, interconnected agents of change. But not everyone has benefited from these changes the same way. The gap between the rich and the poor is widening in many countries, leaving millions of people in poverty. Many young people are frustrated by the lack of job opportunities. Many elderly feel excluded and struggle to make a living. HIV is on the rise in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, and as our climate changes, it disrupts lives on an unimaginable scale. No country is immune to these trends. Large number of vulnerable people exist even in the region's richest and most developed countries. Creating a world that meets the needs of all 7 billion of us and the future generations is a huge challenge. It's also an opportunity for us to revisit the agreements made in Cairo nearly 20 years ago and adjust them to today's world. And this is exactly why we need everyone on board. Governments, international agencies, men, women and young people. So that all of us and the generations to follow can enjoy the promise of a satisfying life and a stable and secure environment.